My name is Michael Corcoran and I'm an attorney and housing counselor at Grow Brooklyn. Grow Brooklyn is a not-for-profit 501c3 that's affiliated with the Brooklyn Cooperative Federal Credit Union and we provide free legal services and housing counseling services to distressed homeowners in Kings County. One of the biggest surprises I had when I started working for Grow Brooklyn is just how unfamiliar people are with what happens under the law when they pass away and that they just presume that their wishes will be honored by um, the state and the city. Uh, and so one of the first cases that I came across was two sisters that lived with their father in a home. The father never created a will. The sisters, he always had intended for them to inherit the home, but on his passing, there had to be an estate administration proceeding and the estranged brother that lived on the other side of the country was. And so because he never put in place a will that said what his wishes were, um, he created a very complex situation for his daughters who wanted to continue to remain in the home um, but had difficulty taking title to the home. Some of the simple and most basic things that people can do now to start putting in place a plan that will protect their loved ones later on is to actually just think about what it is they want to do with their assets. Yeah. So that involves making a list of what your assets are and thinking about who you want to receive them. And then coming to a place like the Brooklyn Cooperative that has Grow Brooklyn housed in it, um, offering low cost legal services for people interested in putting in place a simple estate plan um, would be a great first step. As it relates to bank accounts, just going to the bank account and designating a beneficiary on the bank account can make the process of those assets transferring to a loved one infinitely more simple and less complex. Um, so if you go to your bank account, whether it's at the Brooklyn Cooperative or Chase or Citibank or wherever, you have an opportunity to designate beneficiaries on your account. Um, and if you do that, it will transfer to them on your death without any legal process at all. Just yesterday in Kings County uh, Supreme Court, I met with a woman who was facing foreclosure and her mother had passed away five or six years ago. And it was the loss of the income, the pension income from the mother that res resulted in the ultimate default on the mortgage. And the daughter never moved forward with an estate proceeding because she didn't realize that she needed to. She assumed that because she'd been living in the home with her mother that the home um, just automatically became hers. And even though under the law um, the home will become hers, there's still a legal process that she needs to engage in to effectuate the transfer of title to the property from her mother, her mother's estate now, to her. Uh, and the, the failure to engage in that process has seriously jeopardized her ability to keep the home. Um, the same thing applies to retirement accounts. If you have a 401k account or an IRA account, you can designate beneficiaries. And so that's a way in which you can do something without even putting in place a will to ensure that specific assets transferred to um, your loved ones, the people that you want, without any legal process. As it relates to homes and, and more or less everything else, tangible personal property, jewelry, it's important to think about who you want those assets to go to and who you trust to make sure that your wishes are honored. Um, because you have to create a will that names who the assets go to and you have to designate a person who in New York is called an executor who is delegated with the responsibility of making sure your wishes are honored. So thinking about those things doesn't require too much, but it does require accepting your own mortality and, and admitting that um, nobody lives forever.